Hello everyone, this is Eris Trivia. Welcome back to our Immortal Empires preview let's play as we continue with Jaume from turn 95. So last time we got our confederation. Our sister has joined us and it's time to change our faction name. We'll no longer be the Western Provinces. We are now Grand Cathay itself as there is only one Cathayan faction left. And that is us. There we go. Faction leader. Ming the Iron Dragon. We now have to incorporate everything we got and also get ourselves out of this mess that we forced a save on. After this fight over here, I figured out we could have just taken the gate, which would be an easier fight. Super easy fight. Yeah, that would have been a great save point. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. And now we have to live with the mess. So first things first, we have to fix our harmony. It's way off kilters. We need it balanced. We can't do much with Melian's army herself. I'm going to strip her of all her items first. We'll reassign them. She's going to get recalled. Uh, we might take a settlement nearby. Her skill points are pretty good. They went on yielding a short aim, which is what I would have gone for. So that part is great. No points wasted. Route mar Marcher, the spells are good because we're going to get every single spell. The only thing that's kind of a shame is they didn't go down the specialty line here, which is just really, really good. And we're going to do that once we get our hand on her level ups. Uh, it's a pretty experienced army, but it doesn't make sense to march them back. So we're just going to get rid of this. We'll probably fight just this right here. Easy fight next turn. And then we'll recall from this once we own it. And we'll let the AI faction take it back. It doesn't matter. Then on the home front, now the invading puppets of Misrule uh, needs to be destroyed by us. We can't reach them, but we're close enough to wipe them out. There's an army here. The cool thing here is that there is a second copy of the Dune Dragon, since they can recruit Regiment of Renown as well. So we don't want to delete him just yet. We want to wait till we can transfer this over to our main army, for example. As for the other units, we can save ourselves some money and kick them out, and then he can just sit in here in the safety of the garrison. This is a young hero which we need because we're eight points in the in deficit. This is an in character who's ranked 10. Skill tree wise, we didn't level her and the assassin is not what we want. So we'll try to make her useful and then just kick her down to seven points. This is our character. Lord Magistrate reporting. And the Astromancer is actually young. Interesting. So we're going to pop him out, but cancel everything here. He is very high level. I guess in the future he can be a recruitment lord for us once we summon him back in the future. But right now, we don't need this. So everyone here will get kicked. And we're down to negative four points or four points in. Only level three. Any items? Nope. Not worth keeping. Now we're at three points. So it's one more army. We have one right here. Ooh. She's also in. So we should keep her and then kick out the Lord here. But her units, she has fire ring rockets, which takes four turns to recruit for us. So I kind of want to keep this, transfer it over if we can. We can split the rockets in these armies. Okay, so let's not delete this. I'm actually going to walk towards 
that army. It is my calling. We're gonna delete some of these low-level Jade Warrior crossbowmen. Oh, actually, let's delete these four. Oh, actually, just these four. Only the We're gonna take over the Alchemist and the Three Fire Rain. Everyone else can be deleted now to save money. And then we'll delete them afterwards. Temporarily for the balance, we're going to recruit a new fresh lord, Tian Hou, who used to be the leader of the Celestial Loyalists. Can be summoned out here. Because we need to use him to claim some of these land colonized for us, because they've been raised down by these Warrior of Chaos factions who we now have to go fight as well. So that brings us to a balanced state and back to 20k extra income which we'll use to fix the settlements because there's no way they're built correctly. I take that back. These two buildings are right. That one is wrong. That one's fine. The ninth wall is built. That's their landmark. These two are totally fine. This is good. This is bad. That is also bad. So we need to build an in building here. Okay. Um, not sure if we're going to upgrade these. They're quite costly. What is our current research rate? 220. If we can get it to 300, then it makes these faster. If not, there's really no point to bring it up any higher. I think for now, maybe... I mean, control looks pretty good. Confederation minus eight, so it's actually plus 12 normally. So I guess the income from trade would be the one we want. We don't want to go down, we want to go to the right. Land of stone and steel. Oh, this is a mess. So that's the wrong building because we want the resource. That is the correct one. These two are fine. This one is not fine. Minus one young. Minus two young. Minus three young. Okay, so we'll be at three in. We transfer these over next turn, delete her, and that'll be perfectly fine. We'll be back to balance. Anything else we need to change? That needs to be gone. They did build the landmark, which is good. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. We'll take the 5%. Okay, these are not good. That goes away. This is a good building, but we want this. The refactory is like one of the best designed buildings in the game, in my opinion, because it shifts from local growth to faction-wide growth at tier 10. We want to make these recruitment centers of the cavalry, the gunpowder route, and the celestial unit. We basically use the Bastion Sanctum building chain to get increased rank and decreased recruitment costs to make them our recruitment centers. Ooh, they built the right ones here. These two are good. That is bad. We probably switch this. And then we just gain control of Turtle Gate. So one of them can be Celestial. Probably this one because it's ready at level 4. And then this can start from the Cavalry from tier 1 move its way up. So we can also change these. Uh, growth and decrease. Oh, they have a corruption issue, but it's going down really, really fast. So we're just going to take the extra growth and extra building cost discount for the buildings that we'll be building here. I mean, the upgrades and all the military ones. So that is good. They leveled up. Ah, this general is rank only eight. I'm thinking we send this general north as part of our northern expedition that's going to happen. Because we want to wipe out the puppet misrule, which will give us our long victory condition now that we control all of Grand Cathay. We haven't had our 70 settlements yet, but all the bastions are back. 11 more territories, which we can hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. eight nine and then a bunch here perhaps so we'll get there that's not going to be a problem and then we'll wipe them out and that will trigger long victory which will give hero rank plus 10 and that also will trigger the end game scenario we're not here to do domination that is insane 
uh, we're just here to trigger end game, either by turn timer, which is anywhere from turn 100 to turn 150 based on what we selected, or by this long victory condition being triggered. I believe we'll be enough to deal with them, so I'm going to head over here. Uh, we probably need to encamp, or, or we can just step right here. There's corruption here. Basically, we're going out with them. We're going to target all these holdings. Probably starting with the Red Fortress. We'll take the tough one out first. Uh, maybe we'll take a pit stop. Mm, we'll see. We'll see whichever way works out. Um, and then Jamin will join them. So it should go well. Oh, speaking of that. So who's higher level? She's 10. This one's only 8, but there are two different heroes. So it's going to be more fun to rename this group. So we'll follow the convention of last name, oh, first name, last name. And since it is a northern expedition, oh, cap lock is on. Zhuge Liang it is. It's going to be all gender bent because all the lords for Cathay are female, unless you have a lord magistrate. I am the pride of all and we'll try not to gender bent these, or we could gender bent everyone, but that's going to be weird. So, Zhuge Liang's wife. Huang Yue Ying, and then Zhuge Liang's protege. Xiang Wei. And they will be going on their northern expedition together. And let's give them some items for this expedition. Um, Something useful, not like Flag of Grant, Flag of Cafe. I mean, it sounds cool. So corruption is needed. We are not recruiting anymore, but we will be reducing the upkeep for the Jade unit that we have. Increase experience. Control doesn't matter for them. That doesn't really matter. Uh, I think we have enough agents to kill the agents that's coming after us. Attrition is important. We are going out there. That's uh, movement. So, who do we steal it from? We can increase the range of our crane gunners, because the cannons have decent range already. Alright, actual magic items. Nothing too grand. None of the rare stuff that we have, the unique ones. I think for... I mean, it only makes sense for Drugodon to be using his namesake weapon. The Chokunu. Zhuge Lianu. The repeating crossbow, basically. And we can give them perfect vigor. This can be potentially a set, but then we don't have the Celestial Blade. Celestial Silk Robe. I believe that's a uncommon item. Right here. It gives a ward save. Sure. And then if we can get the weapon, we can do it. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of combining options for us, because we did get a lot of items. Dragon Helm. I actually kind of like Quicksilver. I don't like it that much. Let's combine these. Jade Amulet. Ooh, it's actually pretty good. Is that a... that's a talisman. Okay, well equipped it. And then we need our arcane item slot, which is the most difficult one. Robe of Shangyang. Ah, we get the Wall of Fire spell. Not what we're looking for. 
Scroll of Leeching. It's a power recharge reset. That's actually decent if we had spells, but I currently don't have spells. Power recharge. We'll leave it empty. We don't have a good one. Then... An appealing experiment. Wind Shaper. The only thing that we really want to add here is more corruption reduction. Lord of Yin and that's really it. This army is ready to go out there and reduce all of this corruption we see. So this is done. They're going to combine. Child They're still going to go here first. We'll escort them out. Now the troubled part is where we had to find a save file last time, which is these two armies forcing this siege on the Black Fortress against a very powerful army, plus reinforcement, plus reinforcement in the horizon, plus Emmerich nearby. I don't think we want this fight, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually break siege and keep our armies together for a field battle potentially. Do we have any movement to get farther away from the settlement? Oh, well, they couldn't reach the settlement, so the settlement shouldn't be able to reach them. Unless one of them have lightning attack. I don't think they do. He's level 22, but even then I don't think I don't think he has it. I can't really check. But anyways, we'll be able to fight any of them on the open field. There's no rush to take this settlement, because we can't complete it. And I don't really want to expand this way first. Imrik has to die first, so he's our target. We got backup armies coming, but we do have to walk through Pig's Barter, which it's still being plagued by corruption. It's going to be gone soon, in one turn. Minus 29. We'll also pick up this very soon as well. That's our caravan. They landed in Bitter Bay. Gonna strip them of their items. Is there corruption here? Skaven. My ancestors require it. A hundred percent Skaven. We have some bad neighbors here. Pretty sure of it. I was born. Now we can pretend they're they're not there. You know, if we don't see them, they don't see us, we don't have to go to war. I don't know where she is, but we're going to steal it. Because we definitely need it more. It's still plus eight. Wow. So we're going to have to change up some of these building setups to make it reduce itself. Uh, completing the entire... Oh, this is going to be hard. This is We're not going to get this down. Because that's their base. Hmm. It's going to be rough. I mean, this is just a pit stop for us. We're going to go attack over here first. As for the High Elf armies, it's a lot of range opponents. So I think we're going to modify our army a bit. We're going to actually delete these. And spend the money on... Oh, hold on. We can improve that. We can improve that. Any chance? I don't think they can. Yeah, they can. No, they can't. Yeah, only the Lord. That's fine. We get three extra experience for the local recruitment, but not for the global. I think this is good. We want people with shield. We want people with better armor. Fighting the Skavens, which have a lot of range. Fighting the High Elves, which has a lot of range. And both of them don't have a lot of large, so... We don't need to worry about anti-large. Oh, if we cancel the build... We don't want to cancel it yet, or else the local goes away. We want the local to come through first. Okay, so that's taken care of. That's taken care of. Confederation's taken care of. True king. High queen Ooh. Hush. When I sit on my throne. This is a good sign. 
Although I think the Tomb King's Alliance unit are bugged, where you cannot recruit them because of their upkeep calculations are really out of whack. But that's fine. Uh, we also should, speaking of allies... We're gonna trust you to hold your capital. Okay, so all that is good. I think we looked at every single lord. So if you're still not moving, you're not supposed to move. Building upgrades, we have 14k. It's actually quite a bit of money. Not enough to upgrade all three of them. So we'll leave this one alone. Definitely want to get this upgraded. And there's also a resource, more money. Excellent. Pig Barter also has one of those global, oh, three factions, green skin factions, human factions, and I want to say ogre factions can build the market there. Okay, there's a, there's a young slot open for us whenever we want to balance. Uh, that tech is a neutral tech. These comes first, and I think we're poor. Of so we're surrounded by a lot of enemies. I need to know how big this Skaven... Actually, do we really want to see them? We know they're there. Yeah, we don't need to actually see them to know they're there. Okay, I can still afford... Nothing that I want to build, though, so... No. Growth. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick on this for a while. And that might be it. I mean, we got ourselves balanced. And then we just need to do a little bit more transferring, and then we should be good. Emmerich is running home. Let's see if the green skin wants to do anything to us. Goldtooth coming down to help. Oh no, Emmerich is coming on top of us. What is this? They also summoned a second army here, guarding their last piece of land. This is a threat. More green skin armies coming down. Another green skin faction. They have not run. Okay, so we got company. They decided to attack one of our settlements, Mingzhu, and they're gonna get wiped. Earn the Emperor's boundless love. So Zhao Ming doesn't have to get his hand dirty. Should be three points. Yes, that's what we expected. Now, Get out of my mind. movement wise, we're gonna come to the settlement. We'll take this second copy of the Dune Dragon and we'll dump one of them. Then this entire army gets deleted and we're back to balance. We will pop out from the Dragon Gate and take the Dragon Crossroad Stop this from the Norska faction here. Astral man solved the Celestial Court. They will be relayed. We'll clear the path. Alchemist of no, Twenty-five percent, still successful. Very good. And that cleared the path to the Red Fortress, which I think is where we will head. 
It's going to be a very long journey because we're going to have to stay in that stance. I think we do have to sit here for a bit because this is not built yet, so they can easily just come here and take it. They will go by themselves, set up the siege. There's no resistance here, so it should be pretty easy. And then we'll take the hard fight ourselves. You can go out as well. Now the problem is, these two are very low level. This one's at least recruited by us, but this one's only level 1. So we could get rid of him, actually. And we actually do still want to tweak our balance. So we're here to transfer over all of these. Now our job is actually over. We are rank 18. But like I said, the skill tree is all over the place with these, so we're not a big fan. Now we're three point young. Like I said, rank one, quite useless. We're two points young. She is good. He is decently good. There is that embedded... It shall be effortless. The desert oh, that was the embedded one, I think. The invading army. The also Zinch associated, huh? It suits my purposes. He's on march. This will be interesting because I can use this lord Magistrate. to just delegate this fight with a reinforcement for easy victory. He's going to gain so many levels for a fight that he really didn't do anything. Okay, so I'm, I don't expect this to ever... Ah, right, AI general. Hmm. I mean, in the future, maybe a recruitment bot? We can have him recruit for Melian's army, for example. She's young as well. I serve the dragon. You can see our second Dune Dragon unit is in this army. I'm pretty sure we take. Earth blood always. It befits my high station. Descended from celestial glory. Alright, we want to share these units. We don't need this many cannons in one army. So we're gonna split some of these difference. Way too many crossbows. We cancel some crossbows, so this is perfect. And we'll be going out together. So what happened here? They didn't chase. Emmerich went north. Interesting. Who else is he at war with? He's going after Goldtooth if I don't kill him. And then we're going to have to save Goldtooth again, so we're not doing that. But if I fight him now, he's probably going to get reinforcements. Yep, so I don't want that. He went. He killed the Skaven army, didn't he? That's what he did. He's fighting the Skaven faction too. I could drag them out. Maybe. It's an option. Beyond even is this is a Oh, this is one of those factions that gets spawned to stop caravans. So they're not a serious army. I don't think they'll attack my armies. I think they only target caravans. We could go after one of those agents, forty two percent. Okay, we didn't get it, but that's okay. There's no competition here. They have Dwarven outposts in here. Lots of range units. A couple of big birds. We have patience. We just signed a trade deal with them, so I doubt they'll do anything bad to us. Alright, 
All right, we're still not balanced. I just realized that. Technically, we need in points, which is weird because we just had a bunch of in points. Oh, we also want to recall her. That's going to put us into even bigger deficit. I will fix it after we get this delegate win. Because we're going to have to recall her. And until she comes back from that. Ready to defend. Do they deserve the honor of serving me? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so I can replace the Lord if I had units to replace. I can make her walk back by herself. We got rid of the army a little bit too soon then. I mean, we could use this as a recruitment site. Everything would just be global. It'd just be a very expensive recruitment. And then we can start fighting instead of walking back, recruit, and then walking out again. Ultimately, I think that will save time. Because we are surrounded by enemies. So let's do that. We have seven global recruitment slots right now. We're going to go one Sky Junk at least. Maybe even two. Could single entities just play so well into us? That was kind of our standard army from before. And then we're going to just really cheap out on the rest so that we get an army ready in four turns and we'll upgrade them later because I can't stay here for eight turns. That seems too ridiculous. We can also use some ally recruitment to shore up the army for the final four slots because we're allowed four ally units. So let's see, which fun ally are we going to go ask for? Some tribuches. Are right, going for the Bretonian or Bretonian alliance? Anything good from Kislev? No, Kislev tier is not that high. Oh, oh, Empire. I think we found our answer. We only have 27 points with him, though, so I can get two of these. Oh, these are fun, too. Magical chariots. But I think this fits what we want. And then we go to a different ally. I guess it can be the Germanic and French connection. So cavalry from them, I guess, would be the go-to option. Is the best cavalry unit the Knight Errant here? Oh, grow. Mm, those are infantry, actually. Yeah, that's our only cavalry option. They're anti-infantry. Nine points. I only have nine points. That's a problem. We could wait on that. They had the bow variant. We might take that. Oh, oh. Cavalry. War sleds. Okay, definitely war sleds. Okay, interesting army. Miao Ying. Hmm. I don't think we're building anything. We're just gonna recruit and sit there for a little bit. All right, so sister is taken care of. The northern expedition has started. We have transferred. It's still not balanced. We got to fix the balance. So where do we need agents? Um, I guess we need some in the north. Fire and metal. OK, only could do Astromancer here. Only could do Astromancer here. What about here? Only one in... we'll take it. Of and 
And then I guess we'll go to Singapore to recruit another Astromancer. They're just going to do field duties. Okay, we're back to balance. The northern side is done. This western side is also done. We had a fight. We're trying to get them to meet up to transfer some units and maybe upgrade some of their units as well. They have not moved. They have not moved. We're not sure if we want to take on Imric plus the wall. Grimgore is very strong. Look at those stats. I think the best way to kill him is with our crane gunners. Armor piercing, high damage. Bypasses his melee defense stats. Essentially just has to go through his armor. A waste of talents. If he wants to go to Gold Tooth, he has to go north. Like ideally we might want to wait for these guys. And I guess we can. So let's take a slightly safer approach. It's just one more turn, really. And then we'll basically outwad the wall with our four armies. And we'll push through the howling wastes. And then... We'll see if we need to make this turn, but we'll probably do, because that's probably the last piece of land. Oh no, are they- oh, they're- oh my god. They're everywhere. These are Skavens. Skavens are going to be a headache here. But yeah, we'll tackle this next turn. With our current research rate, it's not super optimal going here. We can wait till we hit 300%. There's still a bunch of stuff we're looking to grab over here. There's a lot of really good ones. Like that. So let's get this queued up. And there's so many buildings. Um, so we got that built. It's just military stuff now. This is a resource one. We rush that because it's money making. I think we do this. And we want to make sure we can get every type of agent. Should be that. And then this can be any of these, which I think I opt for, you know, gunpowder whenever we can. I believe it's this one. We're trying to put an in building there. Oh, if that's the case, then should I be building this instead? Inst but it's already built. It's fine if we don't have that one. So we need an in building here and then this. I don't know if I can build an in building right now. It's wooden balance until our tech comes next turn. Okay, we got our young building. We only have 400 now. I can't build my in building. Hold on, this is important. We need to cancel something. So, wait on that. In building balance. I will be obeyed. Two K. Two K is not a lot, but we want money making ones first.
Yeah, the tech balance is going to be slightly weird. Because we actually want to do an in tech because we want to build a young building. So let's see if there are any good in ones that we haven't done. Not the three point ones. Defense for in armies. Oh, that's a good one. We can work down that way. Or just take that. More immediate. What can we build? Alright, seven. Seven. Gold, I guess, is the currency we're talking about here. Anyone want to give us any missions so that we can get more points and get more of your cool units? Nope. That's fine. Compass stays the same for growth. And I think we're good to go. We lose sight of Emmerich again? That man's a mystery. They ran. Well, they see the four armies. We're gonna chase. We got company going toward Melling. I don't know if that's four turns. That could be a problem. Oh, never mind. They walked down. This is easy. Okay, so one of our outposts is gone. Everyone does more charge. And we are balanced. Awesome. I think we can go scout elsewhere. There's nothing here now. We'll be able to put it under siege next turn. Our job will be a bit different. We're going to die for the foundry. We'll leave that to Draw himself. I'll stop at the gates first. We can't even hit the gates. I could march. And we'll strike them next turn there. This is bear, but oh. Oh. Alright. We have to protect the gate. It'd be a shame if it just gets taken like that. I'm actually gonna go this way. Help them explore here. Baby steps. We don't know what's out there. Eat, rest, and prepare. I'm supposed to give you units. It's okay, we'll catch up. Alright, so that's all taken care of. They abandoned the Black Fortress. Why is this caravan just stuck here? Movement have been disabled. Was this perhaps our sister's caravan? No, this is ours. But, like, perhaps it was our sister's, and now it's ours. Which is why it's, like, kind of just stuck here. Maybe. We actually don't need him anymore. He is in... He is young. So we can delete them together once the colonization here is over. It's only one piece of land, I believe. It looks huge, but that's all this piece of land. So... We'll be, you know able to delete him soon. Maybe we can be a little braver. Like, what's a little attrition to us? Or we ask him to be a little braver. That we can get to it in time next turn. It's clear. We saw there's nothing here. So much for escorts then. Alright, let's have some fun. I will let them have the more experienced unit here. We'll take 
two, because we don't have any. And then we also give them a couple crossbow units. And they can give us back... Huh. A grand cannon as well. We'll do one of each type of cannon. They'll have six and eight. We'll have eight. Yeah, it's fair. After we take this, we're trading it to Goldtooth. But these armies will walk through this land, and we're going to go fight these. And as we take them, I think we also give them to Goldtooth. We're basically trying to feed Goldtooth to make him strong enough to be our buffer state in this midsection of the map. Okay, so they all moved, they all moved, they have not attacked. How is this siege going? Why are there so many agents all around? At once. There we go. Spill their vile blood. I think we just take this. Alright, it's not balanced, not surprised. A good building. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna either get rid of an agent, like this guy who's way too far away from the action. There we go. And this will be built up pretty nicely here. Wait. Okay. It's not for us, the landmark. What faction is it for? Hover. Oh, it doesn't say. I mean, I'm assuming it's dwarves. It, it should be a dwarven fortress, like Chaos Dwarf in the future. My ancestors required us. Well, it's not going to give us anything, but I guess we are going to hold it as a safety point for our caravans in the future. We're going to take control of this entire area, which puts us at odds with them. But are they at war with the Skaven faction by any chance? No, they are fighting the Emmerich. There is no Could I ask you... Oh, we're not at war with the Skaven faction either. Wait, are we? No, we are. Hush! When I sit on my throne, you can begin. Huh. <laughs> Never mind. What about what about trading us the settlement? The warrior queen. 51. Yeah, not happening. I mean, we might end up fighting them. They're one of the few factions where, like, the lion system doesn't really give us much. So that is that. Now we take Born to rule. what's over here. My ancestors require it. Ah, this is the army without a cannon. You. It shall be effortless. I can bring more army and make this auto resolve even better. Witness their I should have checked what buildings they will have before we did the balancing. Well, I guess we can keep adjusting. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're going to keep our four armies together and just keep pressing here. They're going to be scared of us. They do double stacks, we just bring four stacks. Right? Fair. We still lost a thousand. Wow. More than I thought. Okay, we went farther into the inn, so it would have been bad either way. Makes sense to convert, but converting takes three turns. Which I guess is fine as well. Actually, we don't. We want this conversion. It makes more sense just to get the completed one. Oh, they build a tier three. That's not what we want. But like, eventually we want that, so we're not going to delete it. Celestial ancestors. All right, let's not mess with this. We're going to use that as our save point. We're going to end our episode here. 
We cleared out the western opening here. We are connected from here to here. Skaven's to our west. That's it. Imric has no more land. I don't know where his army went. But... It's still alive. Or else we would have got the faction wipe message. So it's curious where he went. And obviously, the fact that this went way up means he's landless. It's unlike Three Kingdoms where you can get a peace deal when they don't have any more land. You can't really do that in Warhammer. Anyhow. So, Skavens is going to be our main opponent headed, headed forward with these all Skaven held Skaven right here. We still need to push them back. So we're going to pretend we don't know the Skavens are here so they won't bother us. We won't bother them. Once we take care of the green skin and take some pressure away from Goldtooth, we will start punishing the Skavens in mass. Is this threat real? Not, a chance. Not really. We have some garrison unit, right? Oh no. Oh no. I can't diplomatically talk to them? Who's whose vassal are you? It's because they're vassal of someone. I mean, okay. It's fine. Uh we'll come back and it will be totally fine. Melian can beat everything by herself here. I'm confident. We'll give her some items before we end turn. And if they do come fight us, we'll wipe them out. Maybe I will slap... I can't even slap a defensive building in here. Right, we're not high enough level to do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's a dragon against, like, what, six units? We can do that. Anyhow. Um, yeah, we'll end things here. We'll continue our western push. And we'll start the northern push at the same time. And we'll send some rescue armies to save Melian. And we'll go from there. Until then, bye.